It's not Stonehenge, it's Kinstone. It's where geology meets astronomy. And it's right in our backyard. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lorson shows us how gigantic stones ended up just across the border in Wisconsin. This particular land where it gets real steep um, was used for pasturing cows. On Christine Beck's property near Fountain City, Wisconsin, dairy cows have been replaced by towering megalithic structures. What do you think of this place? I think it's pretty awesome. Man. The place is Kinstone, and it's just a stone's throw from the Minnesota border. Of course, that all depends on the stone. There are stones that range in size from small boulders uh, that are maybe 650 pounds to a 70,000 pound um, boulder that I have here. 12 years ago, Christine got an idea. Instead of building a home on her 30 acre site, she decided to build formations. The Great Stone Circle was the first structure built on this property. And despite its size, it only took 10 days to put together. In this is Zeus right here. Height and yeah, and Zeus a is a fitting name for a stone of this size. <laughs> yeah, Zeus is 26 feet, but six feet in the ground. Christine had visited Stonehenge in England three times and loved the idea of a circle that could line up to the sun for solstices and equinoxes. So, with help from a quarry in Cold Spring, Minnesota, she did the design and they did the delivery. 21 semi loads to be exact. Some of those semis were one stone per load and included extra axles and extra permits and some couldn't go across certain bridges and those kinds of things. The chapel nearby was also a labor of love. She and friends built it out of cordwood. It has a thatched roof and liquor bottles in the wall let the sunlight through. Those bottles represent a river running west east just like the Mississippi does here on this bend by Winona. We came up here and then we were hooked. Um, you know, when you were... history. Yeah. <laughs> Linda and Jack Ainsworth have a special connection to Kinstone. While visiting the Mayo Clinic from Texas, Jack was diagnosed with mesothelioma. They told me if I hadn't, if I hadn't come up here with her, that I'd have been dead in two weeks. So they sold their home and moved to Minnesota so Jack could get regular treatment. He goes to Mayo for checkups. He goes to Kinstone for tranquility. It brings you, peace, it brings... You bring what you bring to it, and yeah. then it takes back from you whatever you bring. From regulars to first-time visitors. I don't know, I was more impressed with this place because Stone Edge, you know, you've got all this, yeah. the, the monolith stones up, but once you see it, you just go, yep, okay, there it is. Here, no two structures are alike. For Christine, the stones are record keepers, old formations that never leave the ground, but people are still moved. By what they see. They find an emotional release here that they were not expecting. They have their own um, way of telling us something. Near Fountain City, Wisconsin, John Lordson, WCCO News. Kinstone means family stone, and there's also a stone labyrinth on the property, and Christine hopes to build another one in the future. Uh, for more information on when you can visit, just go to WCCO.com and click on links.